Hi and welcome. We're on day six. It's day six already. Crazy. On the Remabulous Coaching 21 Day No Whining Challenge. So what I was thinking about today actually was that it's very easy not to whine when everything's going exactly the way we would like. But what tends to happen is that we then encounter other people who are not necessarily participating in the challenge or other people who've never heard of the challenge and do things like cut us off in traffic or get ahead of us in line or uh, last night I was waiting to get into a club, shockingly, something I never do, for Cinco de Mayo and there was a woman behind us very eager to get in, in fact, so eager she was trying to get in front of us while we were standing right next to her. It was really an interesting acrobatic experience. Um, so I think it is, it's interesting to look at what happens because a lot of the time what happens is we want to blame it on them and then we want to whine about them. Like, oh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have to whine except this person over here is screwing up the works. So now I get to whine. So it's like we use other people's behavior as a way to step away from commitments that we've made, like not whining for 21 days. So um, a book that I love for this situation, and actually I was having a lovely conversation about this book with Jen this morning, uh, is The Four Agreements. And I don't know if any of you haven't read it, but it's, I think it should be required reading. Like you should just be given this book on a certain birthday, probably like 12 when stuff starts to hit the fan. Um, you just want to read this book. And what he talks about, uh, it's Don Miguel Ruiz uh, who wrote the book. And there are the four agreements are um, never take anything personally, be impeccable with your word, which means always say what you mean, uh, don't make assumptions, and always do your best. So there was a period of time when I could never remember all four at once. So I'm very proud of myself. Um, but I think what it, what it really speaks to is the fact that nothing anyone else is doing really has anything to do with us. Um, it's their own story. Whenever we're running around, you know, we find uh, the fundamental attribution error is something that we get stuck on, which is when we make a mistake or we screw up, it's because of extenuating circumstances or, oh, I was late to pick up my kids, so I had to cut that person off in traffic. But if someone else does it, we don't then think, oh, maybe they're late to pick their kid up in traffic. We immediately think, that's a bad person. And we use it as a catapult to whining. So um, think about the fact that you know nothing is personal. It's kind of a liberating feeling. Uh, somebody did cut me off in traffic on the way to the gym this morning, and I thought, hmm, I can stick with this, and I can go into a really sticky, ucky, sticky marmalade hands, like we talked about the other day, state with this, or I can just let it go and not have it really affect me the rest of my day. And that was a really big shift. So I encourage you to look at not taking things personally and stepping away from other people's stuff because it probably has nothing to do with what's going on with you. So. Keep up the no whining. Uh, we're really enjoying it and very exciting. Um, tomorrow we'll be in Remabulous headquarters, but this weekend there will be a very special field trip uh, where the videos will be filmed on a different location. So thanks so much and have a Remabulous day.